Hi everyone, I'm Rita LaVon and welcome to my channel at Love Bill Share. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and if you are not already a subscriber, I ask that you click on that red box in the bottom right hand corner of your screen right now. And before I actually get into the topic of the video, I just want y'all to see this, okay? I talked about this a couple of videos back of how I went to an event and I didn't have sunscreen on because I didn't know that I was going to be outside for hours and hours. Look at this, y'all. Now, look. Look at this. Like, I'm two completely different complexions. And I just wanted to show y'all how much color. Look, look at that. That is so interesting. And I still think it's so funny. I tan very easily. And you would think that someone who tans so easily would learn to put on sunscreen. But to be honest, I don't even think it would matter anyway. But I just wanted to show y'all that. And by the way, do y'all see my face? I, I feel like it's giving glow. I don't know what the glow is about. But um, thank you, God. Because this glow, I'm like, I'm feeling very, okay. Okay, glow. Come through. I'm loving it. <laughs> but look, speaking of sunscreen, um, I know... Or at least I think you're supposed to use like SPF 50. But um, I've seen a couple of the Instagram girls use this. Um, I purchased this now. Uh, haven't actually used it yet. But it's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. But it's SPF 40. Um, that's really popular. And then this is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. This is SPF 70. Um and this one was really popular as far as uh, with black people i was reading the reviews and there were a lot of um black people in the comments saying that it doesn't leave a white cast this is really good for us so we're gonna see how that works so i don't mess around and look like this <laughs> the next time i decide to go to an event where i'm at all day <laughs> so i just wanted to share that with y'all today's actual video is going to be about uh, hair care products and specifically the shampoos and conditioners that I am using currently um, because I haven't done a shampoo day video in maybe about two to three weeks or so and I wanted to come in and just share what I have been using uh, because it's really working for me and I really like it. So let's start off with the first shampoo. So this is the Carol's Daughter Coco Creme Curl Quenching Shampoo. Now this right here, I like this now. Um, I used it before, right when I had first went natural. And when you go natural, you have to give your hair time to like adjust to going from a relaxer to being natural. Um, because when I first used it, I wasn't sure. But now that my hair is longer, this is a really great product. So I'm using that for my first shampoo. Um, and for my second shampoo, I am using the Kira Care Moisturizing Shampoo for color treated hair. So I have used this product for many, many years, even when I had a relaxer because I had color then as well. I love this product. I think that it's good for both natural and relaxed. Um, if you have color treated hair and you are looking for a good shampoo, I would highly suggest this product and also just the Kira Care line in general. Um, they have a lot of really great products. They also have, I believe it's called Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. That one is really, really good. The Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner is really good. I have used a lot of their products and I absolutely love it. And this is from me using this product for years and years and years. So I would absolutely recommend that. Um, that's for my second shampoo. And then for my conditioner, I'm using the Carol's Daughter again, the Coco Creme. This is the Curl Quenching Conditioner. So this is um, the conditioner to the shampoo that I just showed you all. Um, and I really like this shampoo because when I rinse this out, my hair is soft, it is detangled, and it feels absolutely wonderful. And I can tell that before I put any type of product on it, my natural curl is already popping out. Because I have noticed sometimes, depending upon what type of 
uh, shampoo or conditioner I use. Sometimes when I'm done rinsing the conditioner out, sometimes it's like my hair is just there. And then at other times it's like the curls are already starting to like pop, like you can actually see them already. And with this uh, conditioner, they are definitely there. And I'm like, okay, this is really, really good. So I would highly suggest those. Um, now, if I'm doing any type of treatment, the Shea Moisture Deep Moisturizing Mask. And I really like this as well. Um, this is a really good product. Shea Moisture in general, they have so many different um, like variations of their products. This is the Raw Shea Butter line, but they have so many different, I'm not sure what to call them, but like different like product lines, I guess you could say. And they work really, really well for my hair. Um, and I really, really like this. So when I use this, I will put on a, um, a cap and I'll sit under the dryer for like uh, 15 to 30 minutes with it. And I will use that. Um, and I normally do my treatments normally like once a month. And then um, just use my regular shampoo for the other weeks. And that seems to be working very well for me. Um, I'm loving the way that my hair looks. Um, I've already done um, a previous video that I will link uh, where I show what I do, you know, after the shampoos and conditioners, all the other products that I use on my hair. So you all are aware of that. Um, my hair is definitely growing, you know, shrinkage is real. So look, can I take a curl out and see how long it is? Look, yeah, it's getting, it's definitely getting longer. Like if I were to like pull it out more. You could definitely see more of it. I haven't done my full um, picking it out today because I haven't actually went anywhere. Um, but I'm loving it. It's working. I'm still loving being natural. It's so funny to be in this position, to be natural. Um, you know, as I've said before, I'm moving into something new and I look like something new. And I'm excited for what is about to come. This is a really good time for me and I am just enjoying it. There is, you know, just a sense of freedom when it comes to natural hair. I don't know what it is, but it's just a particular type of feeling and I am enjoying it. And I'm just really excited overall.